Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. We have witches and wizards who have constructed healing pools. This is a life experience by the pool of Bethsaida. I pray for you as you come in here and observe what god is doing there will be a miracle and zombies go there to wash some people have been asking what's so spectacular about this pool it's just a pool that god has told me to consecrate and this is an arena of miracle it wasn't done for people for it to be constructed i'm not touching anybody but the god through the working of signs and wonders by the pool of Bethsaida is doing miracles. That is clear witchcraft. I don't know what's wrong with people. Is it because the man is holding Bible? That is clear witchcraft. It is not God. I have said earlier, if you repeat a prophetic act, you invite the demonic. You be people begin to have intercourse with the spirit of lawlessness. Some people have gone so demonic that they even bring a pool of water in the church. I mean in a bowl. You go to church, they wash your leg and the, and the water turn red. You wash your hands. They're going to plant stupid prophecies. That is clear witchcraft. It's clear manipulation. Jesus does not carry pool of waters around. What's the message of this act? The healing pool. Apart from being the grace of God that flow from the cross of God. Oh my Satalia. The healing pool is an end time church where you step into the power of the cross baptizes you, which is the grace of God. It flows into your life. The next prof prophetic act in the Bible is the healing pool. The healing pool in the book of John. Are you understanding me? We have winches and wizards who have constructed healing pools and zombies go there to wash and they call the healing pool prophetic act what do we discover from the word as a prophetic act that which was spoken or demonstrated in time past that is bible times that is being fulfilled in our present time that which is spoken or demonstrated in the time present that will be fulfilled in the time future and i said in our time now i will show you the things that have been demonstrated in time present now in our time that will fulfill in, in the age to come i gave you two definition of prophetic act and i said the second one is that which is spoken or demonstrated in a time present is that not which will be fulfilled in a future time which future the age to come what is it that god is demonstrating now that will be fulfilled in time past i wish i have time that is staring me to talk about the generation of our womb dead has no power what is god demonstrating now divine healing divine health so me divine healing divine. say divine health. divine health he is demonst that is why there's still healing of the sick you see god healing us that is one thing is demonstrating now what is it that will be fulfilled about divine healing and divine health in future in the age to come immortality so when god heals you he's telling you there's an age where you become immortal is somebody hearing me when God heal you of a disease, it's a demonstration in the present time that there's an age that you become immortal. Where you will no longer be sick. When God gives you a miracle and tears of joy comes out, God is saying that there's an age where you will cry no more. Where there will be no pain. Are you understanding me? Every miracle God is doing now, fixing the devil, giving us deliverance, giving us peace, giving us prosperity, is a demonstration of what will happen in the future when we step into the new heaven and the new earth where righteousness dwells, where the tabernacle of God will be with men. Let me show you. 
Go to the book of Revelation quickly. Revelation chapter 21. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth has passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, no sorrow, no crying. There shall be no more pain for the former days have passed away. Tell your neighbor that's where we are going to. I didn't hear you. Say with me, every miracle I experience from Jesus is a present demonstration for a future manifestation every miracle i enjoy from jesus is a prophetic act for a glorious future when god save us from premature death he's saying there's going to be an age where there'll be no more death when god allows us to live long to fulfill our days he simply said there's going to be an age where there'll be no more death in this era under grace every miracle from god is a prophetic act for a glorious future stop calling magical acts prophetic acts they are not pouring water pouring oil some people have gone so demonic that they even bring a pool of water in the church i mean in a bowl in those days that when my father was not in those days in the early 80s 81 82 when my father was looking for how to make money i was told that he went to a place and they put a bowl of water for him to wash as a suffering police officer as he washed his hand in the water the water became red the nurse said that he should go and bring his child my father loved our children his children he jumped and ran away i said my child he now came back home breathing i didn't that night we didn't know later we, we, we discovered he came and gathered all of us and put on his laps and was praying He just sat down all of us on his laps. My father loved children. We are 14. From different, you know, forget about the source, but we are 14. <laughs> you get my point? It doesn't matter. Are you understanding me? Tell me it doesn't matter. The source is not important. But we are 14. Uh -huh. So he put all of us, the few of us available, because that's where in the village. Me, I was very small, like a grasshopper. Carry my younger one. God, I was, I was, none of my children would die. Nothing will happen. We will remain poor. And let us be poor. He told me to give my children. Let us be poor. Let us be poor. I prefer being poor with my children than to be rich without them. Are you, are you understanding me? Now we have that thing, that thing in church. You go to church. They wash your leg. And the, and the water turn red. You wash your hands. Somebody came to my office and said, it happens here in Nairobi. A prophet. You wash their hands. But this one is chemicals they put. Of course, we know it's chemical. And they begin to say, they, they, they begin to plant stupid prophecies. That is clear witchcraft. That is clear witchcraft. I don't know what's wrong with people. Is it because the man is holding Bible? That is clear witchcraft. It is not God. It's clear manipulations. Jesus does not carry pool of waters around. Are you, are you understanding me? So, but we are looking at the prophetic acts under the law which are being fulfilled under grace the healing pool it wasn't done for people for it to be constructed in the days of the bible god was so merciful on israel that he constructed these prophetic acts for them especially the healing pool he knew there was a dark age there was no voice of god on ground but because of his covering with Abraham, he had to const construct this, the pool of Bethsaida. John chapter 9. Let's go there. John chapter 5, sorry. John chapter 5. 
He constructed that pole. As he constructed that pole, look at what the Bible says. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which in Hebrew, which is called in Hebrew, Bethesda, having five porches. Now let me tell you something about this pool. This pool was actually a pool of mercy. God just decided to show mercy on his people. And it was located near the sheep gate. There's a place called the sheep gate in Jerusalem. Actually, Jeremiah, Nehemiah, I think it's either he, he, he constructed the sheep gate or he spoke about the sheep gate. They, you know, Jerusalem had different gates. Now, there's another place of sacrifice in Jerusalem which this pool is close to. If you look at it, place of sacrifice, the healing pool. If you look at it today, the place of sacrifice is the cross. The healing pool is the grace of God flowing from the cross to us. That is why it's five porches. Five is the number of grace. Is somebody hearing me? So it was planted in a place of sacrifice and you pass through the sheep gate. We are the sheep of Christ. So pass through the sheep gate. Now there's a place of sacrifice. There's a pool. And that represents there's the cross of Jesus. I have gone to this place. We went to Jerusalem. They show us. It's not too far from Calvary. They are, it's close to Calvary where Jesus was crucified. The pool of Bethesda. It's very close. So you, you now realize the cross of Jesus represents the place of sacrifice. And the healing pool is the grace of God. So this prophetic act is not to be repeated. I have said earlier, if you repeat a prophetic act, you invite the demonic. You be, people begin to have intercourse with the spirit of lawlessness. So what is the prophetic act today? What's the message of this act? The healing pool. Apart from being the grace of God that flow from the cross of God. Oh my Satalia. The healing pool is an end time church where you step into the power of the cross baptizes you. Which is the grace of God. It flows into your life. Are you understanding me? Taking down the demonic. Establishing the divine. 